it came when I was on the Gili Islands in Indonesia. And I went for a, like I'd been doing some diving and seeing the beautiful reefs and often a little bit of plastic going past, which you thought was a fish or a turtle and, and then discovered was a plastic bag. And then I went for a walk inland and there were these, in people's homes, in the front of people's homes, there were these mountains of plastic bottles, plastic wrappers, all of the things that all of us tourists had been consuming for our own convenience were littering these people's gardens. And, um, you know, obviously they, they start to reuse a lot, of, a lot of these things, but often it goes into the sea that we have travelled to see. I think just generally, I feel that we need to start thinking about the repercussions of our actions and the way that we live our um, lives. Um, so I think it's broader than just about pollution in the sea and that pollution killing animals. It's also just about the general impact of every decision that we make day to day and how that will affect us now and in the future. It's really good to know that people actually care because I think sometimes, I think it's very easy to, um, to think that people don't care anymore, you know, because we constantly, like nothing seems to be happening in terms of the environment and climate change anymore. It's kind of been pushed aside, particularly in the last couple of years with the economic uh, collapse, the crisis. It just seems to have fallen off the agenda. So it was really heartening to know that people do still care, that people want to do something about it, and that they're excited by um, people who are trying to create work that will get it back onto the agenda. I'm just trying to inspire people to think and I think that that's um, the most that you can ever ask if you're trying to do create artwork or be an artist is to inspire independent thought and I really hope that my images will do that. <laughs>